they need to like put a cap on these characters that just infinitely scale something like Vigar, Swain, and fucking what's his name, and Nasus, like bro Nasus infinitely scales his damage Swain infinitely scales his health Vigar infinitely scales his damage like why can you infinitely scale something that's stupid like there shouldn't be no limit to how fucking much damage you can do everybody else has a limit why is there three characters in the game that just don't need to worry about that I almost fucking got hit with it with my minion that's crazy That somehow hits me, okay. Just backing up my bullshit. That hit me. Like, <laughs> bro, no way someone is that dumb. Oh my god. Oh, I'm shit. so good! Oh my god! I'm correct. 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 <laughs> my bro, these minis are pissing me the fuck off, dude. Holy shit! Oh, he stayed with it. I could take some tower. Like, there's so many people that play top lane, and they're just stupid. The only thing is that because you're playing top lane, you play a broken-ass character. So then you're just like, oh, I'm good at the game because I'm playing fucking Swain, or I'm playing Set, or I'm playing Garen, or Cho'Gath, like, bro. Like, top lane is literally so easy to win because you just have to outsmart them. Like, they'll get some bullshit kill on you early, but then you just have to outsmart them. It's that easy. No one in top lane has a brain, ever. Be careful. Run. Charm is bitch ass. Run. No. Yeah, Pantheon has a stun that he can hit. Like, you can't dodge it. Once he uses it, if you're close enough, you can't dodge it at all. It's really stupid. It's one of the people I hate most in mid lane. You don't run into him a lot, but when you run into him, it's annoying as fuck. He only has one thing. He doesn't even have anything. Look. He has nothing bought. Hmm? He doesn't have anything bought, and I have more. I have. I'm almost done with my mythic. No, yeah, Pantheon. And I have. That's why, that's why I told you, like, Pantheon is, like, the most annoying person for me mid lane. Besides action and stuff. Because, like, Pantheon will literally be behind, but he'll still out damage you. It makes no sense to me at all. Like, I had my Mythic, and he had, I think, one Mythic component, and he outdamaged me. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, Serrated Dirk is, like, literally all he needs. He fucking just does so much damage with it, it's stupid. Does this guy not have a ward or I don't want to believe, bro. They need to fix Akali's hitbox with her E. It's actually fucking aggravating. Like, if something is directly behind me, it'll eat my E instead of putting it in front of me. How does that miss? Just try to keep up as much pressure as you can, but still play safe. On Pantheon, okay? Mm-hmm. What, what the fuck is this? Are you serious? You sealed your fucking fate, buddy. What happened? No, he just jumps on me. Mm. And I still get stunned. Yeah, they- it's stupid as fuck, cause like, literally, I'll be Zed, right? And I'll put down a clone, and then I'll switch sp I'll switch spots with my clone, and it'll still stun me because he hit my clone with it. Like it acts like an auto attack, 
which it shouldn't. You know, just because the Swain has no brain, I'm gonna bait him here. He thinks I'm gonna back. He's gonna try to shove his wave. He's not even gonna check this bush, so I'm just gonna beat his ass. Maybe he won't check the bush. I'm so dead. Are you serious? I'm gonna get you a lot now. Oh, did he, is he doing something where he'll like, like he it looks like he has a shield and it's like a bunch of spikes coming out of it? I don't know. He just threw something at me and it killed me. Okay, if you see him, like he like puts up a kind of a shield and then you see like a bunch of spikes coming out of it, you have to just, like just try to like, get away from him because it doesn't like it, he'll have it up and you can't. I don't. I think you do like a lot less damage or you just can't hit him from the front. And then if you're in front of him when he uses it. He it'll go back to you and do a lot of damage. So when you see him like put up like kind of a shield and just like a bunch of spikes, just get away from him. Or if you can get behind him, get behind him. But that's risky. Uh, if you want, you can you can go top if you want, and uh, fight Swain. You have your mythic already. He doesn't. I'll fight Pantheon. Are you sure? Yeah. Just be is careful. Easy. Uh, all you have to do is dodge his root. Okay. Just like try to stay far, and if you see him throw like a ball and then bring it back to him, then like attack him because it's. <gasps> He's really... here. I don't know where he went. He just, he just ran I'm away. Scared. Just go top and farm, farm up top. Do I have to ward anything here? Uh, that bush that you saw on the bottom of the river, that, and the very last, uh, bush up top there. Whichever one. Doesn't matter. If you want to be careful with the jungle ganks, then the bottom one. Dead. Yeah, he has a lot of healing. Like, what? I had him low. If you have Ignite, use it on him. Uh. And when you see him, like, he, he gets really big and gets, like, wings and there's, like, a bunch of lightning around him. If you see that, just run away. I mean, which one do you want to fight? Do you want to fight him or Pantheon? I don't know. Who do you think is better for me to fight? Um, probably Swain, because Pantheon, like, can just jump on top of you and pop you. He's pretty much a counter to, like, ranged mages. But whoever you think is like kind of easier for you to fight. Uh, I'll just fight Swing. Either way, I'll gank you a lot. I was just taking the tower when you. I didn't realize you were fighting him until I took the tower. Oh yeah, I almost. Oh, you took the tower? Yeah. Yeah, because it was low. He's going. He's back in the bush. Oh. Yeah, I think he gets away. He back? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna back as well. Just let him use his abilities before you, okay? Okay. Because literally all his damage is his abilities, just like you. But his, I think, are in a longer, are much longer cooldown. And just remember, if you see him get really big and get wings and you see a bunch of lightning around him, just run away from him. Yes. Or if he's or if he's low and he does that, just ignite him and finish him off. Um, you're gonna want to build more Lenomicon this game, by the way. Probably like build it right after your boots, because they have a lot of healing. I hate the way you see top pop going this way. No, bro, fuck. Where's where's our bot lane, bro? Where the fuck is our bot lane? I almost 1v fucking forward, dude. 
That's so annoying, man. Holy shit. That would have been such an easy fucking kill if our bot lane realized. Oh, my this lane guy is. Here. Uh, Swain's dead. I killed him. Oh, well, I'm taking tower. He just respawned. He's not gonna get slayed in time. Uh, just remember though, he can use that that like bubble you see come out of the ground when he that he uses sometimes. He can use it from anywhere on the map. Okay. So just be careful with that. God damn, that's so annoying. I could have had so many there. Oh, shit. You breaking tower just got me my item. Let's go. Also, this isn't really important, but you could use it for your team. If you look at a tower on the map and you see it has like a gold outline, that means it's a bounty. And if you break it, your whole team gets money. Okay. Like, it's not like a lot of money, but... Like that's why I just said that you breaking the tower got me uh got me my item because it gave me like fifty bucks. I'm coming to gank you right now. I'm dead. Do you have your ult? Yeah, you can just dash away. Bro, my ult has saved me so many times. Yes, man. Okay. Bitch, you think I'm fucking scared of your bitch ass forms down, pussy? Nice job. Fucking dog. In your place. I worded the bottom bush for you, so if you want, when you get back to land, you can word the top one. Thank you. Just... So what do I build? More Linomicon. Anti-healing? Yeah. Because Swain heals a lot. Oblivion Orb? Which yeah. one do I... Yeah, yeah build the Oblivion Orb first. The, uh, if you look at the item description, it says Grievous Wounds. That's what anti-healing is. <clears throat> okay. The Oblivion Orb will give you, I think, like 20%. And then the... Full item gives you, I think, 40. That missed? What? Okay. Are you dumb? What the fuck? Oh, I'm dead. Should I go somewhere else now? Hold on. <laughs> Bro, I've 1v4 like three times now. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, if you want, you can come bot and help them. Because they're the only lanes who haven't taken tier 1. Or if you really want to, you could just keep pushing top to get tier 2, but it's up to you. Doesn't really matter. They're probably gonna FF. I don't have any energy, I couldn't kill him. Jungle top carrying. Uh, I'm gonna actually buy more Lenomicon before I actually. I could just buy Oblivion Orb and then Magi's. Yeah, that's probably a better option. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, our Lulu's getting fucked, bro. <laughs> I'm coming to help you right now. Me and Kindred are. Where the fuck is our wave? It's so behind.
We didn't have anybody tanky here. Our only tanky person, I think, is Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Ow, bitch, the fuck? Face you again, bitch. I swear to god, I wish he would fucking challenge me right now. I wish he would think I give a fuck that I'm half HP. Oh, if that root hit him, I was gonna fuck. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away, we're gonna die. Why? Because of that. And that. <laughs> Remember, Ash's ult is a fat fucking okay, arrow. What else do I build? Uh, after more than Amicron. Banshee's Veil. Banshee's Veil would help you or against. Magic Amp. Magic Amp, what? Okay, do I build Survive Burst, Spell Shield, or Magic Amp? Uh. Magic Amp, what's the item? Rabbit on Death Cap. Oh. Uh, what's Survive? Survivors is uh, Banshee's Veil, right? Uh, Zanya's Hourglass. Oh, yeah, build Zanya's, build Zanya's. <clears throat> Zanya's is gonna give you a. It's an active item, so you don't have to use it. You have to, like, click the number for it. Basically, what Zanya's does is you can't move or anything, but you become invincible for a little bit. And it gives you, uh, it gives you, what's it called? Wait, you're telling me I have to use these items? No, only some. Okay. Good job. This guy's gonna try and kill, some kill probably. You think I can kill Pantheon? Uh... He has Merc Treads, but you have more item upgrades. Oh. 